hello everyone welcome to my channel cat tutorials for beginners and uh, today we will uh, create a spiral helix with the help of uh, parameters and formulas as well as uh, we, we will use uh, law command in this sweep option okay so uh, let us start with the uh, generative shape design let's click okay and uh, select the sketch positioning and make the orientation and uh, select the circle select a diameter uh, let's say uh, 200 mm and then exit the workbench with the ex extrude command extrude this let's say uh, 5 mm only oh. you can say uh, 30 mm again uh, select the uh, sketch say sketcher and on the same planes with the same orientation draw a circle that is a profile we will create let's say 15 mm and select the di dimension let's say this is 50 mm sixty mm we will take and then click exit workbench. Now select the sweep option here. Select a profile. Select a guide curve. Just select this uh, circle as a guide curve here and select a surface as a support. So just select this reference surface here and go to the option law here and put here let's say if we need uh, 20 tons so 20 into uh, let's say 360 and close it and just preview go to the law option select linear option sorry linear and then wait well, it is showing some error here Let's preview it now. So you can see it is created. And just click OK. And it will take some time to load. We just increase this. Uh, Just increase it to 300 mm. Just hide this uh, surface. Hide it from here. Hide this. Hide this. So now you can see here the uh, spiral helix is created and now we will create some uh, 
formulas and parameters uh, in this so so that uh, while changing modifying the parameter the spiral helix will get changed so just add some parameters here so we'll just check which are the parameters we are we need to create here so from the sketch one uh, we only need this uh, radius so just create a length here create a new parameter then uh, then for the profile just create one second and for the offset distance create a third one so now you can see here the parameters are created one two three so just edit the names of it so this is diameter of guide so it is uh, 300 now we have change it to 300 for the length 2 that is the diameter of profile and uh, which is i think uh, uh, that we need to check actually just select a sketch 2 and it is 15 mm and the distance is uh, 60 mm so just change this uh, profile diameter which is 15 mm and the length that is the dist offset distance that is the distance we will consider here and it is 60 mm and click ok so now we will apply these uh, parameters with this for these uh, uh, parameters uh, actual parameters so uh, just click on the radius and go to the formula option and you can add he here the formula so just he here it will ask for the part body sketch one radius one and radius so uh, we need to add this diameter of guide here and which is divided by two that becomes the radius then just click ok so you can see here the formula gets applied and uh, the radius will become 150 mm similarly uh, for this sketch 2 this this here. go to the constraint here select the radius and again go to the formula again add a formula here and go to the parameters now so it is a diameter of profile that is diameter of profile divided by 2 so that becomes the radius So you can see 7.5 it becomes a 7.5 now so now for this offset distance you need to apply this distance as a parameter so go to the formula once again and add formula here that is equal to the distance so it becomes 60 now so click ok So in the relation command, uh, these three formulas are created now. So one more option is one more parameter we need to add is the number of turns of this coil. So here for the number, uh, you just need to select the integer and add this type and then click OK. So we have added uh, a 20 number of turns so we'll just 
here turns and here we will add a 20 number so we have used this in the sweep command here so just go to the sweep option go to the definition of sweep command and here go to the law the edit formula and here select the number of turns the parameter option number of turns into 360 and then click OK. So uh, here we need to add 360 degree. Make sure it will be in small letter. So now they accepted and then click OK. So now you can see uh, the all the formulas are created in the relation command. So total four formulas are created. And now you can change this uh, diameter of the, these four parameters at any point of time. So just uh, add 400. So according to that, uh, the spiral helix gets, gets modified. So you can change the diameter of the profile. Let's say 20 mm. So it is now taken. You can add the number of turns, let's say 50 numbers. It is uh, getting some time to load. <coughs> you can see it is created. It is loaded now so now we will uh, just make it to 25 only because it is uh, loading and here the distance uh, you can change let's say 45 so in this way you can create a spiral spiral helix So this way you can create a, a spiral helix. So if we hide this uh, sweep, you can see the part. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel for more videos. Thank you.